scripture reminds us God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We remember with sorrow, with sorrow, the cost of war, especially in mainly young men and women who are killed or maimed. The COVID pandemic takes the older ones. War takes the younger ones. If we value their lives, and their deaths, then we will stand firm to maintain just values in our country. They may not have thought of it this way, but that's what they were doing. We strive for peace, but always remembering that there is no peace without justice. Let not the sacrifice of the past go to waste. Anciently, this is what the psalmist in the Bible said. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace. Peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. Mercy and faithfulness have met, justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. It has cost so much for us to be free, free of the threat of tyranny. May we never let the sacrifice of so many, especially younger people, go to waste. Let us remember before God with thanksgiving those who have died for their country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humankind. We remember the Millthorpe land, all male, died. The First World War. Christopher Scott, James Garth, Ralph W. Wilkinson, William Knight, Thomas G. Wilson, Edward H. Parker, Fred Clark, Albert Garth, Edward Ashburner, John Spedding, Fred Barnes, Charles Wilson, Martin Ashburner, James S. Punchard, Charles Hyde, Edward Mashita, George Swindlehurst, Jack Wilkinson, John Parker, Percy W. Clark, Fred Wilkinson, Harry Bond. From the Second World War, James Fraser Dean, Richard Arthur Miles, Patrick Joseph McVeigh, John Wilkinson, 
Duncan Richards, William Kitching Hodgson, and the National Service, Roy Woodhead. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. <laughs> We remember before you 
those who sacrificed their lives in the struggle for freedom. And we pray that the justice and freedom for which they fought may be established today among the families of the nations. We ask this through him who taught us to pray for the coming of your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all humanity in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful, now and always. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all people. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.